French. Thanks, Dave. A small select field, a half dozen for them from North America, two of them from Europe, and six of the best riders we have in the business. Let's check out the conditions for this most prestigious race on the lawn here at Arlington Park. It is called the Beverly D. It is a $500,000 guaranteed purse, a grade one. They'll be traveling a mile and three sixteenths on yielding ground this afternoon outside of Chicago. Three-year-olds and up fillies and mares and let's take a look at the six that will go to post and this is a good field number one memories of silver with jerry bailey his first run in the beverly d for bailey but he's winning the saratoga riding meet by about 400 lengths maxine is number two recently purchased by japanese interests a lot of zeros and commas in that transaction this week believe you me number three is a scene of pat day now just two wins shy of the magic 7,000 wins in his career the horse to beat, in my opinion, comes from Europe. Her name is Dance Design. She's trained by Dermot Weld 16 times. He was the leading trainer in Ireland. McKinnon is up. Gary Stevens, the only jockey in this race that has won the Beverly D. He did it aboard Fire the Groom. He's on Donna Viola. And another European always loyal. This one trained by Cricket Head of the internationally renowned Head family of France. Cricket sends out always loyal, a three-year-old filly with Frankie Dettori up this afternoon. Now, two outstanding North American fillies and mares that we're going to be looking at this afternoon. Well, one of them, of course, is Asina. And we mentioned she's bred by Alan Paulson, and we're going to take a look at her at Del Mar winning the Ramona Stakes. This was a very, very soft half-mile pace, 50. They were walking to that half-mile spot, but then uh, Asina, as you see, just sprints home to a clear lead and win. Asina, very, very nice effort here at Del Mar. She's uh, one of the favorites this afternoon. Maxine is the other. This is a filly that's been on a tear lately, zipped right through her conditions in New York, and then won the New York handicap. She's going to come off the pace to beat Memories of Silver here at a mile and a quarter on the inner turf. Maxine with Mike Smith, another one of the North American hopefuls here in the Beverly D. Memories of Silver also in this field, finishing second. This is going to be a good one. Now back to Dave couple great jockeys have come over from the other side of the pond, and that's one of them, Mike Canan, 38-year-old Irishman, who's one of the top riders in all of Europe, and of course we remember him from winning the Belmont Stakes in 1990 on Go and Go. And he rides one of the favorites in here, the Irish bred dance design. And always loyal with Frankie Dettori is also here, 26-year-old just got married. And you know, those two jockeys are looking ahead because you know they're on the road to the Breeders' Cup, and so are we. One of our features today, Memories of Silver is second choice at 5-2. to two. Maxine is at 3, Asina at 6, Dance Design is the 8-5 to five choice. Donna Viola is at 6 and always loyal at 13. Now, what about the Europeans? Do they have a chance in the Beverly D? Well, all you have to do is look back to 1994, Charlesy. It was quite a victory for Hatouf. Hatouf, who is trained by Cricket Head, who is represented here today. This filly won the Beverly D quite well here coming from off that pace and making a dramatic late move. She wound up going on to be second in the Breeders' Cup turf, and she was voted our champion turf filly that year. Walter Swinburne in a big uh, victory uh, that day, and here's Cricket the Head's horse here this afternoon. Now, Always Loyal is a three-year-old filly, and no three-year-old filly has ever won the Beverly D, but this filly was good enough to win the, uh, the uh, French Guineas, and only her third lifetime start. This is only her fifth lifetime start. Always Loyal has already won at St. Claude, Longchamp, and Chantilly. Why not add one at Arlington International? And there is a very interesting horse, Asina. But what about dance design? The Irish bred who's getting the play at the windows. Bob Newmeyer, what about this one? There is so much to like about dance design in this race this afternoon, not the least of which is her enormous class. There she is. First of all, she's by Sadler's Wells, the preeminent turf sire in the world. She's been campaigning against the boys in Europe, top class company, two to five, beaten just ahead in a recent grade one race in Germany. And what I like about her is that she has speed. This is a race without a lot of early pace. And I think that Mick Kinane will go right to the lead with Dance Design. The only issue here is that when she shipped over from Europe earlier this week, she had a bit of traveling sickness. Her blood count was high. And uh, Dermot Well, the trainer from Ireland, assures us that Dance Design is in top form. 
Anything less than that, of course, would compromise her chances today. But look for Mick Kinane to go to the lead with Dance Design in a race that seems uh, very, very short on pace. And as we know, as we've seen these turf races, particularly at longer distances, particularly with short fields, we saw it with Influen at the Caesars International. If you can go out on a lead and set a nice, slow, dawdling pace, you've got a big chance to win. And I think that may be the tactics that Mick Kinane will use with Dance Design here this afternoon. Dave? Well, and uh, talking about jockeys, two jockeys have won all three races in the Arlington Turf Festival, the Secretary at Beverly Dean, the Arlington Man. Robbie Davis, who's not in this race, but Gary Stevens is. And he's won four Breeders' Cup races, and he is aboard Donna Viola, who's a British bred filly. She raced in Europe and has been transported to America. She got off to a great start here last year, winning the Grade 1 Yellow Ribbon. They gave her a bit of a break, and this year she's won an important pair of graded stakes for her new trainer, Ben Cecil, out in California. Her last two races were really a little below par, but she's been working well, and I'm sure Ben has her at her best to be a factor here this afternoon. Memories of Silver uh, gets the inside post position on the yielding turf course, carries 123 pounds, most of that being jockey Jerry Bailey, and this horse was second last out in the New York handicap in July, and looks like he, uh, she might fit in here. I tell you, if you want to talk about riders, Mike Smith is aboard Magazine, and he's won six Breeders' Cup races. But let's talk up a little bit about Magazine. There's something maybe we all overlook. She has won six out of seven starts since she has been placed on Lasix. Now, she's never won a grade one stake, but then she's never tried a grade one stake. She might be the sleeper here. Charlesy, as a trainer yourself, would you ever run a three-year-old, like always loyal, the six horse, against older fillies? I'm not going to second guess cricket head. She's won more major races than anybody in the world, but yes, if they're good enough, why not? You know, she's uh, she's obviously proven her ability and cricket hadn't brought her all the way here if she doesn't think she's competitive with these older girls, and certainly she's seen dance design up close in Europe, so she knows what she's competing with. And of course, there is a six-pound pull in the weights because Always Loyal carries 117 pounds. The other five fillies carry 123. Memories of Silver Jerry Bailey at 5-2. to two. Maxine with Mike Smith at 3-1. to one. Asina with Pat Day is at 5. Of course, we're on a Pat Day watch as he approaches 7,000 winners. Dance Design, the 8-5 to five choice with Mick Kinane. Donna Viola with uh, Gary Stevens is at 7 and always loyal at 13. I know that Alan Paulson is probably watching. His horse Asina is in here, and we hope that he makes a speedy recovery from his broken hip re with a hip replacement that he had. Alan, Best of luck uh, with uh, Asina in here. Memories of Silver. Asina comes in. Dance design. Firming to clear favoritism into gate four. Donna Viola, the second last to load. And always loyal will complete the line. Waiting on the three-year-old. Always loyal to come up. Just a little trouble with Always Loyal, the least experienced of the field, but now she's set. Racing in the Beverly D. Asina fast away from gate three. Dance designer showing speed in the white shadow roll to move up level with Asina. They're a length and a half clear from memories of silver. Always loyal striding up a close fourth with a circuit of the track to go. Then two and a half lengths to Donna Viola and one to Maxine. They're covered by half a dozen lengths. And Canan takes dance design to the front. Dance design will lead out of the stretch by almost a length. Asina retaining the inside momentarily, but now it's Pat Day allowing Canan to cross in front of him, and it's a two-length lead at the 7 8 pole for Dance Design over Athena, who pops off the rail. Memories of Silver going through along the inside third. Then a length further back comes Always Loyal, one and a half to Maxine, and a half length to Donna Viola. Along the back stretch, five eighths to go. The Beverly D field covered by six. Dance Design leads the way a length and a half, and she is not in a great hurry. It's Dance Design on an easy lead by almost two lengths from Athena. Three quarters to Memories of Silver in the fourth position, always loyal. Followed three wide by Donna Viola, and Maxine brings up the rear. She's awkwardly placed on the inside. Less than three eighths to go. Dance Design by one length, Athena second. Followed by Memories of Silver, who's 
hemmed away. The three-year-old, always loyal, travelling three wide up to the court of pole. Maxine is blocked in the red and gold silks. And Donna Viola last as they pack up behind Dance Design, who has been ridden a treat by Mick Canan. Dance Design straightens them up a length in front. Always loyal, trying to rally. There's a rail split coming for Memories of Silver. And wider out comes Maxine. Memories of Silver pierces through on the inside. And Maxine comes strongly. Maxine and Memories of Silver. A US finish. They split the wire in a spine tingler. Memories of Silver has won the Beverly D from Maxine. It's close for third. Dance Design in a photo with Donna Viola and Always Loyal. And Asina is the last one home. That's a reversal of the New York handicap, but not a reversal of form for jockey Jerry Bailey. The leading rider of Saratoga has brought his magic to the middle of the country. What a beautiful ride as he guided this four-year-old filly owned by Joan and John Phillips. Let's watch Memories of Silver. When they came through the stretch, Dance Design still had the lead as she had had most of the way. And you see Memories of Silver on the rail there in the white. And there's not a lot of room for Jerry Bailey to get through. He tries once, has to wait, tries again. And now he gets a little more room to get Memories of Silver through what is a very small opening. Magazine, in the meantime, is flying on the outside in the red and yellow. And it's just a matter of who's going to get to the wire first here. And Memories of Silver very gamely holds off Magazine at the wire. What a good finish. Fifth in the Breeders' Cup mile in 1995 memories of silver gets the job done this afternoon and jerry bailey is finding his way to the winner's circle he's the unofficial winner of the beverly d we'll have more from arlington international this is not his home track now but he rode like it was home as he brings memories of silver home to victory in sight uh, for the last few years in racing and why not the beverly d is first mount he's tucked in behind Dance Design, who's on the lead with Mick Kinane. Mick uh, thought he had horse, but when he asked uh, this classy filly to quicken, well, she didn't get the job done. Notice the sweat in her girth. Perhaps that sickness and the heat here in Arlington paid its toll on Dance Design, but Jerry Bailey said thank you very much. Skims right up the rail, and here's Maxine flying with Mike Smith. This is a replay of the New York Handicap at Belmont Park at a mile and a quarter. They ran 1-2 that day. They run 1-2 today. But this time, it's Memories of Silver with Jerry Bailey that's now parading into the winner's circle here in the Beverly D. Dave? Giving us some memories on the racetrack already. Memories of Silver gets the big hand from the crowd. It's official here at Arlington International. The Beverly D, one of the grade one events here this afternoon. Let's check the prices. Memories of Silver pays... 740, 380, and uh, 240. The place horse, number two, Maxine, $4, 260. Dance design pays 240. The exacta for the one two combination, $23.40. And the official time, 1 minute 54 and 1 fifth seconds. One second off the track record. Following the Beverly D, won by Memories of Silver, trained by J.J. Toner and ridden by Jerry Bailey. Let's take a look at the complete order of finish here in the Beverly D. We had memories of Silver first, finding room on the inside and up to win it. Maxine, the recent sale, finishing second and getting some of that sale price back. Dance Design was third. Donna Viola was fourth. Always Loyal faded to fifth. And Asina was sixth. Charlesy with the winning rider. And what a winning ride it was. Jerry Bailey, aboard Memories of Silver. A long wait for a hole to open up on the rail. Did you think it was coming? Well, I had my doubts, but, you know, it's all relevant. Uh, the hole could be small, but if you have a lot of horse, it, it doesn't really much matter. If there's just a little bit of room, you know you can get through. We'll take another look at it here when you turn for home, and there you are on the rail in the white colors, looking for a spot. Now, of course, at this point, you're not aware of how fast Maxine is closing on the outside. Well, to this filly and my benefit, she's got a tremendously quick turn of foot. I mean, when you say go, it takes her maybe two strides to be in full momentum. So I didn't need a long time, but I just needed a spot. Well, you got there and got the job done. Gary, congratulations. The only loss, a serious loss you've had aboard this filly was in the Breeders' Cup Mile. Do you think you can make up for that this year? Well, I hope so. It was a soft turf, and she had a rough trip, so maybe I can make up for it. You two are a tough combination. Congratulations Thanks. again. Thanks, Dave. I'm with uh, Jody and John Phillips, uh, owners and breeders of uh, Memories of Silver. What a nice surprise this afternoon. Thank you. Well, I'm still just beside myself. <laughs> she, uh, Memories of Silver really turned in a performance, didn't she, John? She's a wonderful horse, and she really did turn in a great performance. We were holding our breath. I mean, we thought she was that good. Um, 
So we were obviously really pleased with the result. And at 5-2, to two, you had to have some confidence, but were you worried about those Europeans getting all the money at the windows? Actually, I was more worried about Maxime. I mean, I, 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 I didn't know the Europeans, and I couldn't tell their form as well, but I knew Maxine is really good, and she's right on our right you know right on our tail all the time and i knew she would be closing so uh because i didn't know the europeans i wasn't as scared of them as i was uh, tommy skiffington's horse where do you go from here with this filly well, i think my son john uh we'll probably look at the flower bowl would be the next step very good what about the breeders cup well we'd love to go to the breeders cup uh, you know we tried that last year and i think really We'll have to just wait and see. She was fifth last year in the in the mile. She was. She ran a good race. She she actually um, fell off a little bit from her previous race. Uh, I'm not sure that we'd take on the Breeders' Cup. We just have to think a little bit. She's got a lot of speed, but day at a time. She looked great this afternoon, and congratulations, Jody and John Phillips, the owners and breeders of Memories of Silver. We'll be back with more of the excitement on Million Day from Arlington International. Stay with us.